Hey guys, Coach Marty here. We're going to go over our speed strength phase day one for our weighted version. Today we're going to go over some bios, then we're going to go through our strength phase, and then we're going to go through a circuit, a strength circuit. So, first of all, we're going to start off with our biometrics. We're going to start off with some speed skaters. Again, if you have a low box, great. If you have curve that you can use outside, great. If not, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you what you can do without it. But basically, we're going to go speed skater to the box and then back. So basically, push off of our outside leg and right back. All right. We're just changing the angle All right, for the depth that we push off of. And again, if we don't get that, then we're here. All right. For eight on each side. So we got our speed skaters to the box or speed skaters on the ground, whichever one you have at home. So then we got our Munoz drill after that. We did these in the last phase. And again, it was more like a triangle pattern. Now we're doing a Z pattern. Okay, so if you watch the video, Jason, Coach Jason's got um, some tape on the floor. Don't worry about it. Just think about a box. All right, I'm hitting like four corners right now. You got a box. All right, it doesn't have to be a big box, but we're going to make a Z pattern in that box. All right, we're going to go one way for five seconds, and then we're going to go an opposite Z pattern. Okay, so I'm going to be here to here, diagonal back, lateral, and then jump back to my start. So you got four different points, one, two, three, four, jump back to one. For five seconds, it's going to look like this. Trying to get as many reps in as you can. So that's your Munoz drill, one, two, three, four. And then two, three, four, five is just the opposite. So I went in a regular Z, now I'm going in a reverse Z pattern. All right, so here. Sorry, let me start that again. Jump back diagonal. So here, 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 back to the front. All right, making that Z pattern, trying to stay on our toes, getting off the ground as quick as we can. Okay, again, making that Z pattern and then jumping back to the start. So that's your Munoz drill. You're going to go two times five seconds on each, going one, two, three, four, and then two, three, four, five. Okay? Then the last one is our seated rotational plate press. So two options here feet tucked under. You can tuck them underneath your couch, you can tuck them underneath uh, a chair or whatever you have if you can. You can put a light weight on your toes just to kind of keep them down. Actually, grab my dumbbells and use our dumbbells. I'm going to tuck my toes underneath my dumbbells. Leaning back, seated rotational plate press. We're going to slightly rotate and then press up as quick as we can. Slightly rotate, press up. Slightly rotate, press up. We're going to go five on each side. All right, it's more explode up, control the down. All right, rotate those shoulders, press that plate. If you have a dumbbell, a light dumbbell, you can use a light dumbbell. If you have a light med ball, you can use a light med ball. Probably nothing more than 10 pounds. But we're gonna explode, press up, rotate the shoulders through the core, but keep our hips on the ground. Toes, ideally tucked under, but if you can't, just keep the feet flat on the ground. All right, so there's our plyometrics. Now we're gonna get into our first strength exercise. All right guys, now we're gonna get into our strength phase. So we got our front squats. We either got our dumbbell front squats or we've got our barbell front squats. Whichever one you're doing, I'm gonna go over both real quick. Again, if you have a barbell, hopefully you're using a rack and we're not cleaning it up every time. All right, because that's gonna only limit you to how much that technically you can clean. So, this is a little bit lighter bar, but front squat position, elbows are up, all right? Driving those elbows up, keeping that chest up. Knee drives forward. All right, again, it's a little bit thick apart. We're not even going to hands all the way around. We're keeping those elbows up. Okay, knees go forward, chest stays up. Dumbbell front squats. Same thing, just the dumbbells now are resting on our shoulders. Elbows are up. Knees drive forward. Same thing. Our depth is where we can keep our knees from going forward without our heels coming up off the ground. Right. There's our front squat. What we're going to do, you've got 15 minutes to get anywhere between 5 to 10 sets of 3 reps in. Okay. Again, 15 minutes to get 
five sets of three all the way up to 10 sets of three. No more than 10 sets of three, okay? Taking about 45 seconds to a minute rest in between each set. Speed stays the same. Your weight stays the same. Find a weight that you can work with, that you know you can do three sets or three reps with, and then work through it. If the first, this first week, we only get five, six rounds in, all right, that's fine. Next week, try and keep the same weight and get a few more reps in, or a few more sets in, okay? But again, 15 minutes, three reps, minimum of five sets, maximum of 10 sets in that 15 minutes. Take anywhere between 45 seconds and a minute rest in between each set, all right? If you start to get slower, all right, take more rest, all right? If we're not going down, firing up, all right, if it starts to get to the point where our sets are starting to get super slow, take more rest, all right? 45 seconds to a minute is, 45 seconds to a minute is the minimum amount of rest, all right? So if you need more rest, take more rest, all right? So you can keep moving at the same speed, stay at the same weight, easy and you get all 10 sets in, go up next week. All right, so there's our front squats. Now we're gonna move on to our circuit. All right guys, now we're on to our speed strength circuit. What we're gonna do, we have anywhere between three to five rounds. Your choice, it's either time restrictive, so if you only have a certain amount of time, you only have time for three rounds, that's fine. If you got time for five, that's also fine. Also watch your reps. Some of the reps are gonna be anywhere between five to 10 depending on where you're at or what weight you might have, okay? So if you're doing five reps, right? The first time, maybe it's better to do five sets. If you're doing the 10 reps, maybe it's better to do three sets. Just kind of play around with it. Find something that works for you. The idea is to keep the same weight for that exercise, okay? Throughout the circuit, don't be adjusting your weights. Try and stay with the same weight, pick a weight that's gonna be Challenging, but you're still gonna be able to move pretty quick. And quick as in, most of the time, control down fire, control down fire, all right? Same thing if like, you're doing bench press or a row, control down fire up, all right? If it starts to get to the point where we're getting super slow, we probably went a little too heavy, all right? Or again, if you're in your fourth round, maybe it's time to stop, okay? Keep the speed up, all right? Keep the consistency up throughout the circuit, all right? You can take anywhere between 30 seconds in between exercises but don't take long breaks, okay? As soon as you're done with the last exercise, you're going right back into the first exercise. Again, you can take that 30 seconds rest, but we want you to move through the circuit here, all right? So first thing we're gonna start off with, all right, is our half kneeling one arm press. So we're gonna be down in that kneeling position, ribs tucked under, whatever, knee is down, that's the arm we're gonna press with, and we're gonna press up, bicep to ear, keeping the ribs tucked under the whole time, all right? You're gonna do five to 10 on the right, five to 10 on the left. Again, if you choose to start with five reps, try and stay with five reps throughout the circuit. Okay, if you do eight reps, do eight reps throughout the whole circuit, right and left. So we got our single arm press, half kneeling, one arm press. Then we've got our split stance, right? Split stance, straight arm lift. So I'm gonna use our longer band here. Our outside foot is forward. All right, we start back near our hip. We're gonna take that band and we're gonna rotate up and bring it back down. I'm gonna step out here just a little bit more. All right, so again, split stance, rotate, bring it back down. We're doing the lift, so it's bottom to top and we're crossing over that front leg. So we're going in this pattern, all right? The chop goes down, all right? Now we're lifting. Okay, so hip to overhead and then back down. Rotate the shoulders, try and keep the hips straight. All right, so you have knee reps on each side then. Split stance, straight arm lift. Then we've got a dumbbell lateral lunge. Two dumbbells, all right? Again, find a weight that you know you can do anywhere between five to 10 reps. So we're here, step out to the side, fire back up. When we step out to the side, make sure that hip, all right, can get close to top, over top of that knee. We don't want our knee and our ankle, all right, to be at an angle and then never to line up. So we're here, put that knee drive forward, send the hip over, and then fire up. So don't step out too wide. Outside hand becomes our inside hand, chest stays up, dumbbell lateral lunges, all right, anywhere between five and 10 reps, each side. 
So again, find a rep, stick with that. Okay. Hi guys, now we're gonna go to our split squat anti-rotational raise. So I'm gonna use my purple band here, attach my squat rack. My outside foot is forward, my back knee is in that split squat position. So we're gonna lower it down. We're gonna start down at our hip. We're gonna raise the hands up to about head height and then back down. Raise it up, bring it down, keeping the ribs tucked under. As we do this, good. So, back foot again is in that split squat position. Hands go up, hands come down. Keeping that rib, the ribs tucked under the whole time. You've got eight of those on each side. Last exercise is our dumbbell row, parallel stance, hand supported. That means using a bench, using a box, using a chair, whatever it is, our hands can be supported. Feet are going to be parallel, so toes are lined up. Nice flat back, get your body in the right position, grab your dumbbell, pull back to the pocket, and back down. Pull up, control back down. Rowing back to our pocket, we're not rowing up to our chest, we're rowing back to our pocket, keeping our back nice and flat. All right, knees are soft, they don't need to be straight, don't straighten your legs, keep the knees soft. Pull it back to your pocket, bring it back down. Five to 10 reps, find a weight that is consistent through the whole circuit, okay? And then also, you're doing the same reps each round. So if you do six, you do six. If you do 10, you do 10, all right? That's your circuit. Next up, I'm gonna explain our uh, conditioning for today. All right, next is our conditioning, one of the last things our conditioning. Negative splits today. Two minutes of work, moderate work. Easy to moderate, okay? Not super easy, but something that's gonna push you a little bit. And then we're gonna go two minutes all out, or two minutes hard, okay? So our first two minutes, are moderate, our second two minutes need to be much harder than our first two minutes. So we're gonna two minutes on, two minutes off. Sorry, two minutes on at moderate, two minutes of hard work, and then 90 seconds rest. And you're gonna repeat that for week one, three times, for week two, four times. Again, you could be running, you could be biking, you could be rowing, you could be, if you got cords, you got a backyard pool, you could be swimming moderate for two minutes, hard for two minutes, all right? So it doesn't really matter what you're doing, all right? As long as you're doing two minutes of moderate work, two minutes of all out work, and then 90 seconds of rest, repeat that three rounds for week one, four rounds for week two. All right, guys, that's day one. I'll see you for day two.